I feel really excited that I get to play Stella Kid. Um, she is so strong. It's such a compliment. It's very humbling that I get to play a woman who is just, she's very naturally gifted. She's very, she is, um, she's competent at what she does. And she's just, she just is a badass. She's not like putting on the mask or the persona of a badass. It, it, it really is who she is. So I, I am beyond ecstatic to get to get to play with that aspect of myself, you know, that I get to step into her shoes. It's very exciting. What is really exciting about Stella that I just became present and aware of is that she is a woman who is stunningly beautiful and that has nothing to do with how successful she is at her job and at her position. I freaking, I, I fucking love that. Like I, I fucking love that so much about her that like it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, and I think that that that's very exciting for young women and young girls to see um, a woman who is beautiful and that doesn't define who she is. And also it doesn't, it doesn't take away from her legitimacy and she is a beautiful woman and that's a beautiful thing to be celebrated. And she gets to celebrate that in her relationship with her man and, and, um, and it's beautiful. I just, I really am excited about young girls seeing a character like that on television. I would have, I would have, that would have been so um, beautiful for me to see a woman like that on television where it's like, oh my gosh, like she's just, she's, she's successful just because of who she is, because she's a leader. It has nothing to do with what she looks like or you know her her sex appeal like that just that she's she is accelerating because of who she is and she still gets to be sexy you know like i i think um i think that's important for young women to see a woman who is multi-dimensional and fully embodied in all of the different aspects of who she is like you get to be all of it little girl you get to be all of it in spaces where you feel safe to feel all of it. So, yeah. Uh, Stella's Evolution has been so fun to play. So fucking fun. Um, I, I love that she... She's really matured. I think that when she first came on the show, she was very much in denial about her pain. She was very much in denial about her own insecurities. And I think now she is really owning how she feels. She's owning her vulnerabilities and she is recognizing that the only way to move forward and to be a leader, a true leader is to admit, is to admit when you're scared and admit when you're mad and admit when you're sad, whether it's in her relationship with her boyfriend or to her chief who she is terrified of disappointing and has realized that it's like mm, hiding that doesn't work. It actually just blows up in my face. So it, oh my God, it's been, it has been a pleasure um, and an awakening uh, bearing witness to and participating in Stella's evolution. I was so, I was touched. I was, I was really, um, the word, the word that comes to mind is honored and humbled. 
Um, there was a program that I started with a group of girls um, at South Shore um, International Prep Academy on the south side of Chicago. And I was going there about once a month um, talking to, you know, talking to my black babies, <laughs> talking to um, talking to girls, specifically black girls, brown girls about emotional intelligence and meditation and mindfulness and um, and processing all of that. So when I read about Girls on Fire, I was I was so excited because I felt I felt seen and I felt really excited that the writers wanted to take my character down that road. Like it felt it felt empowering and it felt um, it felt validating. about being on Chicago Fire. There's just, there's a lot of good parts. Mm. I love my scene partner. <laughs> I love my scene, my main scene partner, Taylor Kinney. Mm. I love that I get to work with that man. I've learned so much from him. Um, and Eamon Walker. I love my cast. I love the cast that I am fortunate enough to work with. Like that's a that's a that's probably that's probably the best part. Um and the crew, the crew that I work with day in and day out is included in that. Our camera operators are like some of the best most hilarious genuine people. I have ever, where everybody, the props department, our sound department, we're all this big family. I, um, I would say, I'd say that's probably, that's probably the best part. I mean, I love Haley Upton on Chicago PD. She's, oh my God, she's so good at her job. She's so like, I feel like, I feel like her and Stella would be homies. Like they just need the opportunity to like hang out, but they would be homies for sure. Um, so I, I, and, and Tracy Spiridakos, I hope I said it right. She's from Greece. She's so sexy. <laughs> she's so, she's so, oh my God. She's just so, and not just sexy, like, I don't know, physically. She just, her beingness, she's so grounded and she's, she's a beautiful spirit. I, um, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Haley Upton, but nobody can, nobody can do Upton the way, the way Tracy does. So, Mm, so yeah, if there was, I'm trying to think though, if there was another character role, you know, we had, I don't know his, shoot, I forget his name, but he played um, Platt's brother uh, when, um, when Mouch and Platt were getting married and he like planned the bachelor party and everything that he was hilarious and that was just a hilarious role like that would have been fun but i would have been in and out so i so i stick with i stick with stella kid severite's decision to distance himself from me god god bless him oh my my simple baby he just, <laughs> I think, I think we are all working with the tools that we got. And I think within his toolbox <laughs> of like thinking and reasoning, he really, he, he did, he did his best and he's coming from, and he's coming from a good place. Um, I just think that there is 
power in communication, especially when you're afraid to. That um, I have learned that um, I learned from these two incredible coaches. Um, they created the Somatica method. Look it up. But um, Danielle, um, she talks about how fear and anticipation, they're the same sensation in your nervous system. And so when you are afraid of something, if you lean into the possibility that actually something exciting could be happening, you know, you're leaning into the anticipation that, ooh, like something, something exciting could go down. Like it's possible to be a space for that experience to happen. So as scared as you may be to have the conversation, it probably is an opportunity for something really deeply fulfilling to happen. So I would say to Severide, the next time you're really scared of opening up, it's like this person has proven, Stella has proven that she's here, that she loves you, that she's not going anywhere, that she's not going to abandon you. Yeah, I love her. I, I, I love Stella. God, she's so... She's she's really smart. She's really smart and she's not afraid of hard work. That's what I love about that girl, about that woman. And I love how much she's grown, how she's willing to grow, how she actually she's committed to growth. That's one thing that Stella is committed to. I love that about her. Um, <laughs> I love how... I love how she doesn't like, like, you know, she won't, she won't come out and say, eh, she's, she's cocky. She's cocky in a very charming way that I really, it's like, not a lot of people could get away with that. And she does. So I'm like, mm, okay, girl. Um, all right. I, li I like that about you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I love her. I love her a lot. She has been um, a doorway into an even like deeper self-love for aspects of myself. Like she's shown me how to do that. I'm so excited. Yes, I am actually um, in the midst of producing a pilot um, with those Somatica coaches that I was talking about. Um, it is, it's very exciting. There's, there's going to be more to come on that, um, in, in a couple months, but that's something that I am very, very excited about. Um, I also am working on music, um, have a couple songs that are, I'm putting the finishing touches on and they'll be released, um, before years out. Hmm. any other projects besides here she comes and then i'm auditioning but like i mean I, I love it here i love it on chicago fire i am learning all the time every day so this is this takes up a good a good chunk of my time in a good way i mean if i hope this pilot that i'm working on gets picked up <laughs> Um, I would love to be part of that show. Um, ooh, the Sex in the City reboot. I would love to be a part of that. Oh my God, what an iconic show. I would love me and David, David Eigenberg. I'll be like, I don't know, I'll be, I'll be Steve's, Steve's assistant, Steve's sexy assistant that Miranda's like, I don't know about her. And it's like, mm, you cheated on me once. Are you going to cheat on me again? But then she finds out I'm actually really cool. I don't know. I don't know. What else would I love to be a part of? Um, what other shows? Fleabag. Um, Succession. Um, I would love to be on Succession. Love. What shows am I obsessed with? Big Mouth. I would love to be a voice on Big Mouth. Um, everybody should read The Alchemist. Everybody should read The Alchemist. Um, I am, I've started, okay. 
I'm currently reading Pleasure Activism by Adrian Marie Brown, um, which is incredible. It's all about um, uh, social justice and um, sexual liberation all wrapped into one divine. I'm also, I've also started The Pilgrimage, which is by Apollo Coelho, which, so he wrote The Alchemist. The Pilgrimage is this autobiographical nonfiction that informed the, the alchemist, um, the story of the alchemist. Um, those are the main two. Is there, is there another one? I feel like maybe there's, oh, and woman code. All right. Everybody should read the alchemist and every person who, uh, experiences a menstrual cycle should read woman code life-changing. I want to say that remember that, uh, whatever it is that you see in me, um, the reason why it lights you up and why you feel so excited and why you feel inspired is because that exists within you. So that feeling of inspiration and excitement is actually a feeling of recognition in yourselves. Like when, you know, you come home from work and your dog is like super excited that you're home. It's like, that's literally, <laughs> that's, that's literally what it is. It's just like, Oh, I know you. I know that that's who I am. That's, that's, that's who I am. So um, what I would, what I would tell you is whatever it is, um, get really clear on it. What is it about me that inspires you? I think that that's a key into your purpose and who your spirit is like calling you to be and who it is that you are deep down. So yeah, you to shit. I'm sorry. You're, I mean, if you're, if you're a young girl, you're the bomb. <laughs>